Here's a quick tutorial on switching out the hands. So switching from the robot hands, and in this tutorial we're going to be using the SteamVR hands. In this project, I've already dropped in the SteamVR hands, and I'll leave a link to those in the description. To get started, we're going to drop in the right hand robot, and then we're going to drop in the SteamVR model. And to me, the, this is just the easiest way to get this done. We're going to use the prefab I already made. We're going to unpack both those prefabs, and we're using the already created prefab because it has the hand animator on it and the XR controller buttons, which will change when they finally switch the input system. On the right hand robot, we're going to delete the reorient forward. That transform purely moves the model, the face and the Z axis. So you may need to use that to realign yours, but we're gonna drop the render mesh and the root onto the right hand robot. And then now we're going to take a look at the active poses and delete those because that's for the old hands. So if we click on the root, we're gonna to need to add a pose script. And if we click debug spheres enabled and turn on gizmos, we can see that the hand is ready. I know some people like that when they're making poses, but I turn them off personally. So now on the hand animator, on the root bone, you can see it already detected root. So you don't need to assign that. And I'm going into the hands and poses folder and I created a Steam VR hands folder and I deleted the prefabs already in there and I'm dropping this as a prefab in there. And we're going to take that prefab and create a prefab variant for the left hand. So if we ever make changes to the right hand, it's gonna automatically appear on the left hand. So after we rename the hand, we're going to open up this variant. We're going to click on the root bone and we're going to invert it on the scale of X. Now it's the left hand. So here's a very important step on the hand animator. Make sure to check it the hand side left. And for some reason that doesn't like to save. So sometimes I have to go back in the prefab and set it again. Not sure why prefabs. Now, if we go into XR hand poser core, resources, hand poser settings. And here, important step, we need to set the left hand and right hand because that's what the script uses to find this prefab and instantiate it when you're making poses. Since we have both hands ready, now we need to make the default pose and they're already in the default pose. So if you click on one of the hands, we can click save pose, type in the name and ignore the error that pops up. Can't figure out how to fix that one yet. But it works, we can set it in the default pose on the resources, and also on the prefabs, we can set the default pose there. This is also where you would set the animation pose and second button pose. So on the animation pose, I typically have a fist, and on the second button pose, I have a finger point. I dropped in the handgun, and we're going to remove the old poses for the other hand. Now if we click create hand, the hand's gonna appear, it's ready to go. You can see the default pose for the hand we created is already set to SteamVR default pose from the resources. And if we create the left hand, you can see that the left hand also appears and we can now click select hand. It's gonna select the model so you don't have to dig through the hierarchy looking for it. And we're going to position the hand and now make a pose. The long process of going through all the joints and positioning them just like an animator would. After you're done making the pose, we're going to click back on the hand and we can just click save pose. Name the pose. Save it. And since we just made the hand pose, the default pose for the hand gun, now we can go ahead and make the trigger pull hand animation. If you've played Half-Life Alex, you can grab the root bone and move it forward a little, which it does in Alex, but I'm not doing that here. Just moving the index finger and we're going to save that pose. Now if we click on return to poser, we're back on the handgun. And if we find the XR hand poser script, we can go ahead and assign those two poses we just made. So the hand pose is made, but the position that we actually moved the hand isn't saved. So make sure you click save attach points. Now if we remove the hand, then recreate the hand and click show pose, it's gonna go into the proper position. Show animation pose, it's gonna pull the trigger. So if we create the right hand, click mirror on the left hand, you'll see a mirror over. And that's why before there was a reorient forward 
I think it was called, to get the robot hand to be on the Z-axis. Because when you mirror, it's mirroring about the Z-axis. And that's only if you want that useful feature of you clicking that mirror button and it creates the hand. Otherwise, not important. So I deleted the left hand, we're on the right hand. I'm gonna go ahead and actually select the hand and move it because on this model, it's not perfectly aligned on the Z-axis. And then we return to the poser and make sure you click Save Attachments to update the right hand. Here on the hand animator, I'm showing all the reference poses. This is just an option, but all those are actually in the resources hand poser settings. So you would update all of these with your new hand poses if you want to, or just delete them. But the reference poses are just a quick and easy place to click on them, animate to that pose, and see if that pose is gonna work for the object you're posing for. Right now you would go ahead and update the prefab to get rid of the old hand poses on the handgun. But I'm gonna make a new prefab and we're gonna try out this handgun in just a second. But first, on the XR rig, we're going to need to update the hands. So if we click on the, the right and the left direct interactor, we can see that the robot hands are there. Now wherever you put your left and right hand, go ahead and find them. So I'm gonna organize really quickly. Now I'm gonna grab the right hand, drop it on the right hand interactor, grab the left hand, drop it on the left hand interactor. Now we're gonna copy the transform, which is just the rotation, 34 degrees, and we're gonna paste that onto our new hands. That's completely a preference. I just angle the hands down to match you know, my controllers. I'm unpacking my prefab because I don't want to overwrite mine, which you don't have to do this. Now go ahead and delete those hands and your XR rig is ready to go. Now instead of placing the gun on the table for me to grab, I'm gonna add them to my new inventory I just made and we'll test it out. So when you pull the trigger or the secondary button, doesn't have animations because we did not make those animations, but you just need to make those animations and drop them on your hand prefabs. And so far, seems like the gun is working. Let's go ahead and fire. And you see that the fingers are moving. On this gun, I still haven't modeled the, the trigger to be able to move yet, but that is on the task list. And that concludes this tutorial.